Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back with me, Krishna, again in this channel. Channel that always gives you the information about places in Bali with the update situation. How are you today? I hope you're doing good, stay safe and healthy wherever you are. Okay, today or this time I'm still in south area of Bali, especially here at Jalan Petitengat in Seminyak. Since some of you like to know the situations here along this Jalan Petitengat and also Batu Beling Street. So today I will drive you along this street and I'll continue to Jalan Batu Beling and let's see the Batu Beling Beach. And also the most important thing is they have a new beach club at Batu Beling Beach, we call it Mari Beach Club. So don't go anywhere and let's watch until the end of this video. Okay, so this is the situation here and here on the right side as you can see Dash Hotel. I think this hotel is still closed because the door is closed. So I don't know what happened with this hotel. It's a nice hotel I think. And here is the Montego Resort. It looks nice. They are open and I've been here a few times, but quite long ago, to pick up my guess. And here next to it is the Potato Head, guys. Anyway, the Potato Head is also open, so anybody of you like to go to this area of Potato Head, they are open. And back to the street here, there's nice to see some tourists walking along on the sidewalk. Even though it's still very quiet, but it's nice to see some tourists, at least. There are a few of them walking along in this area. And here on the left side is the W Hotel. They have a very nice entrance. A lot of people like to take picture there for their uh, social media, like Facebook or Instagram. And this one on the left side is the Shishi Nightclub, guys. By this time, I think still closed. But last time I passed by during the evening time, there were a lot of people there. So I think it will be busy during the night. And here in the front of us is a Gourmet Cafe. It's nice to see some people there, enjoying their food and drinks. And here guys, in front of us, I think this is the Merak Putih restaurant. And unfortunately, still remaining closed. Even though that restaurant used to be very famous before, but unfortunately now still remaining closed. And here is Canvas Village Resort. I think this is a new one because before COVID-19, I didn't see that resort. But next to it, as you showed earlier, there was a big construction, but stopped at the moment. I don't know what happened, maybe run out of money or something. But of course, I will update you again when the project is done. But anyway, I'll come here regularly, maybe like once a week or once in two weeks. Okay, let's continue. And here, if you go to the right, I think, if not mistaken, that road is Bangkung Sari. You will go to Kayu Aya and also you can go to Sunset Road. And here along the street, as you can see guys, nothing much is happening. We pass by a few shops that uh, sell handicraft, souvenirs like dream catchers and etc. But the rest, nothing much is happening here. Except here on the left side, I think it's an ice cream counter or outlet or something. They are open. Okay, let's continue here. If you go to the left, this is Jalan Chandrawasi, where you can see a lot of hotels and villas there. And here in the run, it's kind of like a small bar or cafe is open, which is good to see that. And here on the right side, I can see from here there are like a lot of food outlets, something new, I think. Have you been to that uh, area? Here there is a Papito supermarket or Papito market where you can do some shopping like deli needs or cooking stuff. So if you stay around here and you like to cook your own food, I think you can go to that uh, Papito market to buy your 
personal needs or cooking stuff. They sell a lot of things like vegetables, fruits, dairy products, and etc. And here also there is a mini mart in Kimia Pharma where you can uh, buy your medications at Kimia Pharma. And here on the right side also there is a big money changer. So anyway, talking about money changer, like I mentioned before, you need to be careful when you change your money. Just go to the authorized money changer, which is um, recommended, like BMC or Senra Kuta. And if you have no choice to change money at like a small counter, the best way is you can count your money again before you leave. In case there is something missing, you can just claim directly at the counter. And here on the right side, nice car. I think it's a Ferrari or something. But I don't know if it's uh, comfortable to drive that kind of car in Bali. Maybe most of you know in this area will be very trafficked, like here guys. There is a traffic here. There is no way you can speed that kind of car in Bali. And here in the front is the T-junction. If you go to the left, that is the Jalan Batu Belik, guys. And if you go to the right, you will go to Provokan and also Sunset Road. Okay, let's continue. We are entering Jalan Batu Belik. What you can find along this street, basically almost the same like other street in Seminyak where we have tourism. There are a lot of shops, restaurants, cafe, hotels, and etc. But I think this Jalan Batu Belik is not as crowded like in Kayu Aya Street because there are a lot of local people or Balinese people that still live along this street, guys. And here on the left side, this is something new as well. It is a huge cafe. They're selling or they serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and they have the lounge and bar as well. So have you been to this cafe before? Maybe you can share your experience in our comment section because I think that is something new. And here on the right side, it's a slippery stone restaurant. I've been to the restaurant but very long time ago, a few years ago. I don't know how it looks like now, but it was a nice restaurant before. And look at this guys, the road is very small. So it caused traffic when there are a lot of cars passing by in this street. And here nice shops are open on the left side and also local warung. And anyway, I would like to say thank you very much for all of you that always supporting and subscribing this channel. I do really appreciate that. For those of you that just found this channel, please guys, I do really need your support to subscribe because one subscribe from you, it's really important to grow this channel. And of course, you will receive a lot of updates about many places from Bali with the latest situation. Okay, back to the street. Here on the left side, there is a famous restaurant. We call it Bebek de Pisawa. But their original restaurant, it is located in Ubud, guys. Here, I think their brunch restaurant. So, if you stay around here, instead of going to Ubud, you can just come here at that restaurant. Especially for those of you that like to try their crispy duck, because their famous or their specialties is duck bases. Dried crispy duck in Bali. And here on the left side is nice hotel, Danoya, and next to it is Paragon. Anyway, Paragon Hotel they have few in Bali. One is in Jimbaran, which is quite big as well. And here on the left side, as you can see, it's big constructions. I don't know what they are building. Maybe a hotel, but let's see when it's done. 
but I can imagine guys it will be more traffic in this area if there are keep building hotels around here I hope they will consider the situations around here especially this very small road and we have a lot of cars passing by it will be a huge traffic Side, as you can see is Bumble Blonde shop anyway Bumble Blonde they have so many shops in Bali I think they are doing good they have one here in Saminya, Lagian, in Kuta, Ubud they are everywhere guys look at this here there is huge traffic again I don't know what happened in front of there it was really bad traffic even though we don't have any or a lot of tourists around here, but still traffic happen. Okay, let's continue. Here on the left side, nice to see some shops open and also mini mart where you can do some shopping. And here on the right side, it's another nice hotel. We call it The Love Hotel or A Love Hotel. And here, if you go to the right, you will go to Changu. But this time, I will just keep driving straight to go to Batu Balik Beach, guys. So don't go anywhere and keep watching. And here on the right side, as you can see, this is the new beach club. We call it Mari Beach Club or Mary Beach Club. Last time I came here, it was like a few weeks ago. This beach club is still under construction, but now they have opened already. It's very fast, they finished the project. Okay everyone, I will park my scooter and let's walk around to see the beach, how is the situation. Here is Batu Balik Beach. I think this beach is not really busy. As you can see, very few people here. Or maybe a bit too early because now it's around 4 something. And here they have sunbed and umbrella. If you like to rent the sunbeds, I think the range is from 50,000 to 100,000 guys. So you can bargain. Maybe they can give you like 50,000 rupiah. Here in the front, that is the Mary Beach Club. I think there are some people there, but it looks nice from here. But anyway, Beach Club is almost similar. This one and with the Finn Beach Club, it looks similar, I think. But the beach situation, as you can see, is nice beach, very clean. It's a bit quiet if you compare to other area or other beach in Sumeria. Okay everyone, that's all for today's video from Butterbelly Beach and around this area. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.